Hey what's up Halo fans welcome back to another Halo video and in today's video 343 released a blog post about a few days ago or so where we get to see new screenshots for Halo Infinite and yes I'm aware a lot of Halo YouTubers already made the video and you know exaggerated about it uh, meanwhile over here I made the video late uh, but I still want to express myself and what I think about the screenshots for Halo Infinite and I'll be honest with all of you I wasn't you know too crazy about the blog post when I first time saw it uh, I, was, I was expecting more so I was basically a bit disappointed on what we got uh, but hey it's better than nothing right I was still you know I was still impressed with the blog post so, you know nonetheless I was really I was just hoping that we get more PvP news but anyways I'm gonna read the whole blog post uh, on Halo Waypoint uh, you guys can check that out yourself uh, which the links will be in the description uh, we are here for the juicy stuff, so let's get to it. So yeah, here's the uh, first uh, screenshot of Halo Infinite, and here we get to see the Assault Rifle. Uh, last time we saw the Assault Rifle was back in E3 2020, and everything we see here looks incredible. Uh, good job on T43 for making a massive improvement, and when I saw this image for the very first time, I was really impressed on how everything looked. Uh, 343 literally nailed the art style of the Assault Rifle. Uh, they changed up the uh, display on the AR, and the AR looks... Uh, it looks beaten up, uh, you can see de details on it, the graphics and visuals definitely improved big time. You know, the art style, I'm just so happy T3 nailed the art style, it's something that they went terribly wrong for Halo 4 and 5. If, it, if Halo 4 and 5 had the original art style, I think people would have, you know, loved those games, you know, compared to it right now. If you were to compare this to the E3 build, it's absolutely laughable, as you can see here if you pause the video. It looks phenomenal, you know, where the game is at right now. Things have changed drastically so right in front of you you can see uh, the brute and he looks awesome uh, he has that Halo 3 brute art style to it uh, and a lot of people have been pointing out that brutes have facial hair now uh, if you zoom in very carefully last year E3 we all know the Craig meme right uh, yeah brutes here you know have official hair now which is dope and if you look at your right you can see this grunt wearing this thing on his back uh, I definitely did see one of uh, the pictures uh, from uh, Mega blocks or mega construct, whatever you call it. Uh, I'm sure you guys know, you know what they are. Uh, please do let me know down in the comments below what this grunt is wearing. I think it's something that the grunt uses to attack their opponents or something. Uh, probably like rocket comes out of his back or I don't know, uh, like like a bullet or something. Uh, I'm not not too sure what it is exactly. But please do let me know in the comments below. Uh, I forgot what the name is, but you guys know. Better, better than I do. And here you see a jackal on our left. Uh, it's a banished jackal. Uh, the helmet he's wearing really reminds me of Halo CE, which looks uh, awesome. Uh, you can tell uh, Thief of the are really, you know, taking notes from Halo CE. And because this game is a spiritual reboot, so they want to bring back that Halo Combat Evolve feel, the one we all know and love, the, you know, the game that we all grew up with. And if we look here on our bottom right, there seems to be a new variant pistol, probably just a sidekick pistol attachment, or it could be a sticky detonator from Halo 4. Uh, what do you guys think it is? Love to hear your thoughts. Uh, but some people say it does look a lot like the target uh, locator from Halo Reach. Uh, who knows? It could be the target locator from Halo Reach. It could be anything that you don't know. But maybe it could be the it could be the target locator. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, uh, what it is? Uh, let me know down in the comments below. So here's the last thing that everyone has been talking about. And if you look further ahead behind the brute, uh, there seems to be a hologram of the Guardian. It's basically from Halo 3's multiplayer called Epitaph, uh, as you can see here. Uh, now, my speculation is we could likely fight these Guardians in Halo Infinite. It seems to be, if you, if you look at it, it seems to be something that's lasering the Guardian or, or the Guardian might be lasering something or for whatever reason. Maybe to activate the Guardian, you know, to, you know, to, to, to come to life and they could likely fight the Chief, <laughs> Master Chief, who knows, right? So there's a possibility where we could, you know, or you may fight these guys in Halo Infinite, that would be so dope. Here is another image of Halo Infinite, nothing too much to see here, uh, but what I want to say, T43 have really nailed the Forerunner interior, they look very ancient and it looks very Halo-y, you know, and obviously the first image we saw, you know, where we saw the Root and the Assault Rifle, uh, the Forerunner structures on there also looked, you know, incredible. If you guys zoomed in right into the image, into the door, it seems like the door is from, like, it's mixed between with Halo CE and Halo 2, it's more from Halo 2, uh, this door looks like it's from the mission called uh, Uprising in Halo 2, uh, the art style of it, uh, which looks pretty cool. Another image here we see the foreigner uh, beam structure. This is the same image we were from a few months ago, but in a different perspective. It looks very nice, and uh, but far ahead it, it, look, it can look very, very blurry in some ways. But do keep in mind, all of the, all of the, image, uh, the images that we saw, uh, they are still in you know, work in progress. So do keep that in mind. If we look at the bottom zoomed in, uh, 
you can see a brute chopper i can maybe confirm this but brute chopper are, are likely to return uh because mega construct uh, shown off an action figure from hill infinite that there's going to be a brute chopper in the game i did see the image somewhere but now i can't find it anymore uh, if i do find it i will definitely post the link but yeah they are definitely returning next image here we see the ui for the first time in hill infinite it looks great and simple but does it really have that Halo UI feel to it? Uh, the UIs that we see previously in the other Halo games always have that nice clean blue UI to it but here looks you know it still looks simple and clean uh, it does you know see it looks like you know I can navigate around you know the, the menu the UI and find things where I want to find you know uh, it doesn't look too messy it looks like the Halo 5 UI which I'm not a big fan of though here they have you know the FOV and the, and the resolution scale. You guys can pause the video. I'm not gonna walk you through it uh, to all the features they've added. Okay, guys, I think I said enough for today's video. If you guys really enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Halo content. And be sure to follow us on Twitch for more Halo streams. I literally stream Halo there every day, so go ahead and drop a follow. Um, so yeah, overall, I'm okay on what T43 has shown us, but I, I wish we get to see more about pvp i really want to know what's going on with uh, with the multiplayer i want to know what's going on with the forge system uh, we only have six months until halo infinite releases which is not long left uh, to be honest uh, and we barely got any multiplayer info which is crazy uh, but i'm confident uh, we will get more info on the multiplayer next month at e3 june uh, which isn't long which is literally around the corner anyways i'm gonna stop rambling here and let you guys you know head off wherever and, and i'll see you spawns in the next video bye